hello guys welcome or welcome back to the channel so on today's video we are going to be making this simple cow neck top so let's get right into the video so guys i just ruled out my bust points my under bust points my half length and the full length of the top and i'm just going to start from the top sorry here my camera i did not know that the part i was working on was not on on frame so what I did was I just took my shoulder measurements and then from my shoulder measurements I came down by one inch and then I came down by eight inch also and I ruled a straight line as you see me doing right now. After doing that I ruled the line again forward. What I did next is I came out by one inch just to create our armhole curve the way we normally do so i'm just from the top i'm just trying to create our armhole curve shape so this is our armhole and next i'm going to create our neck depth sorry it was not in frame i came down by one inch and i uh, i came in by three inch so that is three by one inch i hope you understand we are going to be using this pattern for the to cut the back and the front as well so that is why it is like this so this is for the back i hope you understand so guys from our neckline i'm just slanting down by one inch from that one inch i added and next i'm just going to impute my body measurement so here i just did my bust measurement divided by four my waist measurement divided by four and my hip measurement divided by four and the length we are working with is 23 because I do not want the top to be too long and I do not want it to be too short. So that is what we are working with. After I was done doing that, I added 1.5 sewing inch sewing allowance. I added 1.5 sewing allowance and I just ruled everything together to form the shape we need. You can do this after you are done when you're transferring transferring your pattern to your fabric but i just like adding my sewing allowance on the pattern so i do not forget anything so now we are just going to cut out our pattern So guys, this is the fabric I'm going to be working with. It's just a, a patterned crepe fabric. So this is what we are going to be working with. So now we are just going to place the fabric on fold. And we are going to be cutting out the back piece of the, the, the top. So I'm just pinning this down so that's why when I'm cutting, nothing is moving. Because this fabric tends to move a bit. So I'm just going to pin it down and cut out our back piece as you can see. so here i went up by half an inch for the joining allowance so take note of that when you're cutting yours as well so now after we are done cutting the back we are going to cut the front piece as well so what we are going to do now is from our chest line i'm just going to rule this out so you're going to see where I'm, i'll be cutting from so I just rolled it out and from that point I'm just going to cut through and I don't know why I was using my paper, my fabric scissors. But okay, we are cutting through and we are going to stop halfway. As you can see, I did not cut it all the way out. So this is how we are going to be placing this on our fabric. So now I'm just going to place this on our fabric right now. And one thing you should know is that how you want your drape effect to come out is dependent on the the amount of fabric you're working with because my fabric was not much my drape effect did not come out as well as i wanted it to so if you're going to be doing yours make sure you have a lot of headroom available at the top of your fabric so that your drape comes out looking nice 
so now i'm just going to fold i'm going to open up that part we the part we pay, we cut out i'm just going to open it up the reason why i said the way your drip comes out is dependent on the fabric you have you can see that when i'm going to roll my line i did not have enough fabric at the top so the effect was not as well as i would want it to be but just take note in case you're doing yours to make sure that you're working with enough fabric so i just pinned everything down so it doesn't move while i while i cut so you can see now at that at the top of the fabric i do not have enough space there so i could not make my drip as well as i wanted it to come out so i'm going to be rolling the line towards the center front as you can see so make sure you are working with enough room because from that center point from that point there to where i have my neckline was 15 inches so if you want yours to drip better you can make this more than 15 inches but this was the fabric space i had to work with so that's why it's looking this way and that's why my drip came out the way it did so i'm just going to roll the line straight upwards and we are going to cut so i'm going to roll it now my chalk was not clear enough so you might not see the line i rolled but you can see the direction at which i am rolling towards and do not forget to add your half inch joining al allowance at the shoulder parts so guys the reason why we are rolling it this way is because we are cutting both the lining piece and as well the drip so that part is going to serve this part we are cutting is going to serve as the main fabric as well as the lining to go inside so we are just going to cut this out So this is what it's looking like after I was done cutting. When you're done cutting the front, you should have something like this. You can see it's looking like an arrow shape that is going upwards. So you should have something like this. So you can see when I hold it upwards, you can see what it's looking like now. So we are just going to join the back piece and the front piece together now. So this is my back piece. What I did is I just cut off a, a strip of fabric that is one inch wide. And I'm just going to pin it down towards the neckline just to um, sew up that edge, those rough edges you're seeing there. So I'm just going to fold it in two and I'm going to pin it down. If you're a beginner, I will also advise that you do the same so you do not make any mistakes. So I'm just going to pin this down and I'm going to sew along that line. So here I'm going to sew by quarter of an inch and I'm going to sew it in and when I'm done sewing I'm just going to fold it in and, and top stitch on, on it. So we are going to sew like this and fold it in then we top stitch. So this is what it's looking like after we were done sewing. This is what it's looking like at the back and this is what it's looking like at the front. So this is what we have. Next we are going to take our front piece and join it together. So when you're joining, make sure you align your armholes together so you know where you're joining from at the front. You align your armhole for the back and the front together so you know that where you're going to join your shoulders together. So I'm just going to pin that down. I'm going to pin it down for the both sides and I'm going to sew by half an inch. I'm going to align this other part too as well and I'm just going to pin that down and sew by half inch to join the shoulders together so you can see that the curl the curl effect is already coming out so we are just going to sew by half an inch on both sides and i'm going to come back to show you what it looks like So guys, after joining the shoulders, this is what it's looking like. You can see that the curl effect is already coming out. This is what the shoulders are looking like after I'm done. I went ahead to cut out my basic short sleeve 
and I notched it at the center so we are going to attach this to our top so the part that is notched I'm just going to fix it at the middle point where we have the joining on the shoulder and I'm going to pin it all the way around to sew along the line so I'm going to pin this and pin it all the way down and we are going to attach our sleeve to the top we are going to sew by half an inch as well So you should have something like this when you're done so this is how you're going to sew along this line by half an inch and we're going to do the same thing for the other side as well so you're going to sew all the way from that starting point all the way down by half an inch so this is what it's looking like after i was done attaching the sleeve this is what we have so now you can use your overlocking machine to overlock the inner parts of the fabric just so it doesn't fray you can see that as I'm pulling this out, it's coming out. So please make sure you overlock the fabric. Some people call it weaving. I hope I'm calling it right. So now we are just going to join it. Because as you can see, I've added my body measurements. So I'm just going to join it from the sleeve all the way down. You can as well choose to fix close, close your body measurements before fixing the sleeve. But I just decided to do it this way. I'm going to just sew along that line and all the way down. So that's what I'm going to do for the both sides. So this is what it's looking like. This is what we have after I was done joining. This is our curl top. And I did not know I was filming this on slow mo. So sorry guys. So this is the final part of making this top. We are just going to fold in the bottom parts by one inch and either hem or sew it all, all the way around. And we are done with our cow neck top. It is very simple. If you have any questions, do not forget to leave it in the comment section below. And I will try my best to attend to those questions. So this is the final result. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.